Today we're testing how well different types of lasers handle bamboo, one of the most popular and most frustrating materials to engrave. We tested five different laser types, diode, CO2 gantry, CO2 galvo, and UV. Using a variety of bamboo coasters and cutting boards, all provided by our sponsor, Johnson Plastics Plus. And to really push the limits, we saved a thick end grain bamboo cutting board as our final boss. More on that later. Let's get into it. We're starting with the X-Tool F1, a compact 10 watt diode laser. This machine did a nice job on the coasters. It's a small laser with a small bed, so these kinds of objects are really where it shines. The dog design on the square coaster came out clean and crisp, and it was pretty quick to run. When we moved up to bamboo cutting boards, we started with X-Tool's own recommended settings, which gave us a decent but lighter result, especially on the pumpkin designs. The engravings themselves were clean, just not super deep or dark, and it also showed off some of the bamboo's natural inconsistency from board to board. We ended up tweaking the settings by slowing the speed down, and that really helped. The flower design we ran after that came out noticeably deeper and darker. So while the F1 can't tackle big cutting boards due to its size, it's still a solid pick for smaller bamboo items. Next up is the Ortur LM3, another diode laser, but this one's a gantry style machine with a much larger bed. We tested it on both a coaster and a cutting board, and performance-wise, it was right up there with the F1 in terms of detail and clarity. The results were especially similar on the flower designs, showing just how well diode lasers can perform on bamboo when you've got the right settings. But the big advantage with the Ortur is space. Since the bed is bigger, we were able to go all in on the final boss cutting board, a much larger and more complex design. And even though it took a while to finish, the result looked fantastic. Nice depth, strong contrast, and clean details across the board. Dyed lasers are often the entry point for a lot of people, and bamboo can be tough. But this shows they're still very capable machines for this kind of material. Now let's talk about the Mira 9, our CO2 gantry laser. We ran a coaster on this machine as well, and it came out super clean, but where the mirror really stood out was the cutting boards. During the engraving, the marks looked kind of dull and dusty, but after a quick cleanup with some Windex, they looked deep, dark, and detailed. So don't judge it too early. It just needs a wipe down before you see the final result. If you do have access to a CO2 gantry laser, it's a solid option for engraving bamboo at scale. Large graphics, faster runs, and better results after cleanup. Next up is the CO2 Galvo. We tested a bunch of sample coasters on this one just to dial the settings in, and once it was tuned, it handled medium to large designs well, especially bold graphics and text. The bed is smaller than something like the Mira 9, so you're a little more limited in terms of project size. But if you're doing batches of logos or decorative designs that don't need super sharp detail, it's fast and efficient. And finally, the UV laser. This machine gave us the sharpest detail and cleanest contrast, especially on small intricate designs like the flower graphics. The dark settings in particular looked really polished, even without a crosshatch pass. The trade-off is time. Some of the designs ran way longer than you'd expect. And if you're trying to engrave anything larger, it's probably not the most efficient use of your time. This is a great option for really fine, detailed engraving on small areas. For the final boss test, our end grain bamboo butcher block cutting board, we ran engravings on all four of the larger lasers, and honestly, they all came out pretty good, but there were some noticeable differences. We started with the Ortur, engraving the full cow diagram. This one had really clean lines and needed zero cleanup. It was the lightest looking result overall, but not in a bad way. It just didn't have the burnt edges that some of the others did. It took the longest of the bunch, at around two hours, but the result was crisp and solid. Then we flipped the board over and ran the exact same design using the Mirror 9. This version took only about one hour, but it also ended up being the roughest looking of the group. Still good, just a little more burnt and dusty, and it needed some cleanup after the run. Definitely still a viable option if you're in a hurry, but not quite as sharp as the Ortur's result. Next we tested the UV laser, but just with some text rather than the full cow. The text included a thin outlined font, and the UV handled that fine detail beautifully. Super sharp and dark. But even with just the text, it took about an hour and a half, which was kind of wild considering how small the engraving was. So again, UV is best for small, high detail work, but not the fastest option. Finally, we engraved the same text on the front using the CO2 Galvo, but swapped the font to something bolder since we knew it wouldn't hit the same tiny details as the UV. 
This one was shockingly fast, only two minutes. The result was dark, legible, and totally clean. We could probably do the full cow design on this machine too, but it would be a tight fit and we'd need a large lens. That said, for bold, fast text, this thing crushed it. So what did we learn? Diode lasers like the F1 and Artur can absolutely handle bamboo, especially if you're working with smaller items or willing to be patient. The Mira 9 CO2 gantry is great for faster, larger jobs. Just expect to clean things up after. The CO2 Galvo is a solid middle ground, fast, effective, and perfect for bold designs. When you think it's worth the wait, the UV laser delivers great results. Huge thanks again to Johnson Plastics Plus for sending us all the bamboo products in this video. You'll find a link to their site in the description if you want to try these out yourself. Let us know in the comments what materials you want us to test next. And if this was helpful, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more experiments like this one coming your way. Shout out to all our members at the Laser Master Academy. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.